Hey everybody, today's video is sponsored by Anson Belt Company and Anson Belt Company, they sponsored a video last year and to this day, I still wear their belts. If you go back and watch all my videos, I have not worn another belt because they're that good. They're micro adjustable so you can get them as tight as you need to get them. So they keep your pants up and you don't wear out the belt strap like you used to on your old belts. So you have a very, very snug and perfect fit if you had a big meal about loosening a little bit, you're good to go for the rest of the night. Now, their popular package is three buckles and two straps, or three straps and two buckles for $99. That's six different combinations. You can put this with this, you can put the, this with that, this with that. So you get six different belts for $100. That's really hard to come by anywhere else because this is a quality product. And I'm not kidding, you go back and watch any of my videos from the last year, you're gonna see me wearing an Anson belt, and that should say something. Check out the link in the description and pick up one for yourself today. What's up everybody, Rob Ferretti here, and today I'm gonna to tell you about $13,000 in damage that I had to prove our customers did. Now, one of the biggest headaches you have in an exotic car, or virtually any uh, capacity where somebody is being charged a security deposit and damages something, I didn't do that. I didn't, that's, don't look at me, it was like that. And that's the main reason we started doing photos before and after. That's the reason we have GPS in the cars. But you know what? People are fallible and occasionally you'll have a guy who doesn't take the right photos, doesn't take good photos. It's hard to prove something. And this is one of those cases where my employee didn't take photos at the time of delivery, lost his camera. I don't remember what the circumstance was, but we had a customer, two customers, let me rewind one second. Five guys down in South Beach rented five cars from us. Two of them came back damaged. And I don't recall if the, the worst thing that can happen in a car rental is the employee doesn't get the condition marked upon check-in. And when that happens, like with the bullet holes, it's very difficult to then say, that was definitely you. Because now you're saying they either have a signed check-in report where we missed the damage or uh, they, they don't have a signed check-in report and they're like, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, and I never signed to it. And that's why we take the photos, because at least if you say, here are the before photos, here are the after photos, you can sort of prove it. Now, again, the details are a little hazy, but I remember arguing with two customers who returned cars, and ultimately they were both damaged. The fr and, and it looked to me like one was run into the other one. And we had an Aston Martin and a Bentley and the Aston Martin had front end damage, the Bentley had rear end damage. And they, they were like that when we got it. We didn't do it, they were like that when we got it. And we had to go back and forth with them for quite some time. And we didn't have our ducks in a row as a rental company. That we, we, I didn't have the proof I needed to say, boom, there it is. Whether it was not having the before photos or not having the after photos, I don't recall. But the customers were both denying that that damage took place while they had the car. So there's a problem, and, and we've had to eat a lot of that early on in the company, and that, that's why all these policies came into play. And then, thank you, great state of Florida, a couple of weeks later, we got our evidence. Wasn't an on anonymous tip, wasn't somebody saying, I know they did it. It was a red light camera down in South Beach. And luckily, uh, three, they were driving together in a group in South Beach, and three of the cars went through. The first one went through like a uh, green light, second one went through a yellow light, third one went through a red light, triggered the red light camera. Car four, Bentley, car five, Aston Martin, Bentley stops, Aston Martin, didn't. So here you go, you have a rear end collision on camera from two guys that claim, we didn't do it, we didn't damage the cars, and then magical video clip from a red light camera. And that saved our ass on that one. It was actually $13,000 worth of damage. Um, not too bad on the Bentley. The Bentley was like $2,000 and it was 11,000 on the Aston Martin. And it just, it is what it is. I mean, when a, when a hood gets damaged, headlights get damaged, stuff like that gets expensive. And ultimately we almost had to eat that. And when I say $13,000 worth of damage, it wasn't 13,000 in retail damage. We work with prestige imports down there and we did everything as cheap as possible. When I say as cheap as possible, factory parts, uh, factory repairs, but 
we had uh, we had a discount on the labor rate, so the labor wasn't outlandish. Uh, we went to body shops that were good body shops, but weren't 175 an hour. So uh, I don't know. It, it is what it is. It's thirteen thousand dollars worth of damage, which almost came out of our pockets. And when with that with the absence of proof, it becomes very difficult. It becomes a he said, she said. Uh, we'll put the charge through on the security deposit like we're allowed to, but they'll go back to their credit card company and dispute it. And that's just one of those things that you'll get. And without proof, unless maybe you're in Europe, but that's a whole nother video. Um, without proof, you're not allowed to um, charge a customer or you shouldn't be allowed to keep the funds unless you can prove and have the customer sign off that the, uh, the damage was their responsibility or took place under their watch. Now, I'm going to make a distinction about that because having damage take place while it's out on your, under your rental agreement, it doesn't matter if it was a valet, if it was your buddy, if a tree falls on it, it's on you. And that's why we've always taken people's car insurance in that situation, because I don't care if your buddy did it. I don't care if you did it. I don't care what the circumstances, you damage the car, it's a car, we have to repair it. So you have to pay for it. You can't make that on me. And ultimately, uh, we got very lucky there, and the red light tickets, down in Florida, saved our ass and saved us $13,000, which was rightfully due to us from the customers who damaged the car. I don't know what the loss of use total was, but maybe uh, if you want the sexy number, maybe there was a couple of days loss of use for each car being in the shop. So let's just say $20,000 in total claims against the customer. So anyway, uh, I, I found it entertaining. I saw that video. I was like, ooh, that's a cool video. I'm going to share that. And uh, they almost put one over on us, but uh, we, we put these policies in place to protect the company and to protect the customer. I don't want to charge a customer unless I can prove that they've done something. And, and luckily here, th they were arguing, they were arguing, they were arguing. I sent them an email with the video clip, never heard from them again. And I billed them for the red light tickets too. So thanks for watching. Catch you next time.